Hi folks, I want to show you how these four wire uh, seat safety switches work. This is on a, uh, a Husqvarna 21 horsepower mower. It has a manual uh, PTO engagement on the, the dash. It's not a electromagnetic solenoid switch that you pull like most mowers have. Although this switch or slight variations of it are mostly the same across a lot of the common mowers. So what you have here uh, under the seat is a pressure switch and there's a connector attached to it. Okay, inside of here is a small small tab or tang that you have to pull out and push down on to remove the connector. Okay, there's the connector. You can see the switch itself in here. It has four prongs on it. So we have four wires on this switch. We have a gray wire, a green wire. Of course, the colors are going to be different depending on, you know, the model or the brand that you have. But the variations are mostly the same. Then you also have a black wire with the jumper that comes over here. Well, these two wires on the left come from the ignition. And then the black is a ground wire. And then, of course, this is a jumper. And what happens when you are not sitting on the switch, this outside two wires are connected together and the inside two wires are connected together. And what that does is it grounds out the ignition and, and kills the motor and stalls it out. That way, if you come off the seat, the motor stops. Well, for this mower, I have to do some maintenance on it, so I want to bypass that. Now, these safety switches, as most people are aware, are here for a reason. You know, if you flip the mower over, if you fall off of it, you want it to stop because several people have had their feet cut off or have had serious injuries or death. So do this at your own risk. I don't condone it. I'm doing this purely for maintenance purpose because I have to work on this mower. So ultimately, in order to bypass this switch, ultimately to bypass this switch, you don't want either the left two wires to be grounded. So you could theoretically cut all these wires off and you'd be fine. Well, you don't want any of these wires to be connected to ground here. So you'd think, well, you could just pull this switch out and they should no longer be connected. Well, the engineers that designed this had another trick up their sleeve. When you pull this connector out, there's actually a wedge here on the switch itself that depresses this shorting bar that's inside of here. So there's a small metal bar with four tangs inside when the switch is pulled, when this connector is pulled out, those that shorting bar goes up, contacts each one of these wires, and shorts them all together. Well, what you have to do, and the easiest way to do, is to pull that out. Now, I've seen other variations of this switch where it's not a four-prong uh, shorting bar, but it's only the middle two, and it's the same concept there. It needs to be pulled out because when this is disconnected, it shorts the two to ground. So what you can do is you can get in here with a pair of needle nose pliers, you can get on it, and you can pull it out. And there's your shorting bar. Again, when that wedge, when this is connected, the wedge depresses these so that they, they don't short anything out, and it's controlled purely by the seat switch. And then when it is pulled out, everything's shorted to ground. So now that that's taken out, it's essentially bypassed, and you can start and run the mower with the with this um, unhooked. Now, if you'd plug it back in, it would the the seat switch would still work. So you have to leave this unplugged. Again, though, you should reassemble this when you're done working on your mower, so that uh, your safeties are still active. But that covers the vast majority of these that I've seen. It's possible that there may be. Uh, another variation of this where two of the wires need to be connected, but most of the mowers that I've seen, it either has a four or two prong uh, shorting bar. You pull that out and it should function properly. So anyway, there's a, a quick tip. It's pretty handy to know with these newer styles. So thanks for watching.